It was what they call the Chinese symbol sometimes. On what you've probably seen them on a can that looked like that, and then the symbol would hang. Okay. Like that, and that's it. No tom, no tom, no. Then they had some tom toms that were about. They came along next. They were about that thin. There were no lugs, and it was all just tacked, stretched, <laughs> tacked. And they were high, you know, one, two, because they were about that deep. That's it. Then they had the wood block, cowbell, you know. Small toms. Uh -huh. Small tom. Small tom. Um, none of this. Sometimes the big bands had a gong in the 1920s. Uh, okay. Chimes. Sometimes they had a couple Three. of timpani. But the actual drum set of the rise cymbal, or what they used to call them, runner. That's the runner cymbal. Rider. These are, you know, crash. Right, right. Right. And this is what? Chica. Thin. And that's what? Medium? Yeah, that's thin. That's higher. What are these? Um, I'm not sure, but I think they're... They're interesting looking. <laughs> you had them a while? Yes. Yeah. So, the hi-hat came along in the 1920s. And uh, they used to do all the cymbal work on the hi-hat. No runner, no Chinese cymbal, mm -hmm. no. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait, what's old that? fashioned. What's, what's that? That's Gene amazing. Robot? What's that Gene Corbett? That was pretty much Gene and Buddy combined. <laughs> I figured about halfway through. I'm not doing this again, so I'll just combine them. Now Buddy was more. Uh, Buddy was more on the snare. He was more rudimentary. He would be typical Buddy Rich thing would be. Oh, that's Buddy Rich.